Let's go through making a banana in FreeCAD. Uh, this was a really fun model to do, and I've learned a little bit about bananas because I don't actually eat bananas that much. I'm more of like a tangerine, nectarine kind of guy, cherry, strawberry, blueberry, but not so much bananas. So um, if you're wondering about my fruit preferences, there you go. And I think this is a banana fit for Donkey Kong. Oh, banana. So let's get started with a new part. And I'm gonna sketch, let's go on the XY plane, that's kind of our top view plane. And I'm gonna create an arc. Um, actually, let's go with a center point arc. And that will establish our origin as sort of this theoretical center of our banana. That's, oh, and let me open up my uh, keyboard monitor in case anybody has any questions. Uh, there's for the hotkeys that I use. We're going to say Shift R for our uh, radius. We're going to go six inches here, and let's add in another arc. We'll establish a tangent relation, and we'll give this something a little bit tighter, right? 4.5 perhaps, and that looks pretty banana-ish. I guess the Final dimensions are kind of up to you. For me, I'm going to go with 4.75 actually seems nice. Six, sure. How about a horizontal relation here? And it looks like we're over constrained, so I'll just control Z that. Yeah, looks like looks like our only degree of freedom is here. Even better. That seems fine. Negative 2.4, there we go. So that'll be like our center line of the banana. Next, I want to be able to um, get a plane going. And of course I know I'm parallel on my X, Z plane. So I can, in this case, sketch right on my X, Z plane. I can go into my tree, find my XZ plane, and create a sketch. Now, um, I'm, I actually had to call my mom and ask her how many sides a banana has, because I don't eat bananas enough to know how many faces are on a banana. It turns out that uh, number is five. Now, bananas are smooth and organic, so they're not going to have sh uh, sharp edges. And that means where two faces meet, we're going to have to put a fillet. When we put a fillet in, that gives us a total of 10 sketch elements. Now I'm going to operate under the assumption that bananas at some point become round at the ends, and I'm going to draw something round at the ends, um, you know, to, to be consistent. But I'm going to have to make something round out of 10 sketch elements to do a real proper loft here. So I'm gonna make a relatively small circle. We're gonna make this a construction circle. We're gonna give this a radius of 0.125. And now that I'm fully constrained with that circle, I'm gonna go with an endpoint arc, right? But I have to be uh, coincident here and whoop, here. And I'll just make this vertical for the sake of constraints. And we're going to go equal here, right? And so we have an arc that is fully connected to the circle. And I'm going to have to make 10 of those. Now, I don't want to uh, make you sit through that whole thing. So let's speed this up because I think it's a pretty simple sketch. All right, so I've drawn 10 arcs, and let's go with a polyline. And I'm going to hit every, and that did not go the way that I wanted. <laughs> let's try that one more time. All right, polyline, we want to snap there to there. That's more like it. And I'm going to draw a polyline to every endpoint of every arc like this. And then I'm going to select every one of my polyline uh, and try not to click on something that isn't a polyline so I don't lose my selection E for equal I want to make sure that all of my arc center points are within my construction circle 
Looks like they are. And in that way, whoops, control Z needs to be even more dramatically in, and that's a problem right there, right? So if you have any anything that isn't uh, coincident or merged properly, then make sure that that is done. But otherwise, you should be able to have an equal constraint going across all of your arcs without too much problem. As long as the center point is inside of your circle. All right, so now we're fully constrained. And because um, all of these polylines are equal, we know that we have equal arc lengths, which is what we want. And, and if you're astute, you might say, oh, well, the uh, pentagon cross-section has smaller fillets, so you really could have like small fillet, large fillet, small fillet, large fillet, small, or I, I guess small arc, large arc, small arc, large arc, if you want to, uh, but that, I think that's too granular for what I'm doing. So I'm gonna close that. Next, I wanna do the same thing here, right? So we're gonna make a datum plane, we're gonna make sure that we are normal to edge, and that makes sure that we really are having a normal um, sketch to our cross section of our banana center line here. Let's hide that datum plane and sketch on it. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. In fact, let's do the exact same sketch. I believe we had a radius of 0.125, and we want to have 10 elements to this sketch. So, again, so I don't uh, bore you if you're not following along here. Okay, now that we've completed that, we're going to close, and now I want to do an intermediate sketch where the largest part of the banana will be. I think it's up to you to decide where that is, but the low-hanging fruit for me. So we click on the body of the arc, and this endpoint, and we make a plane that is normal to edge. Then we have a normal cross-sectional area right here that I can make a sketch, and this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to come down here and make sure I'm on pentagon, because Bananas have five faces, and I actually had to call my mom to find that out because I'm not that much of a banana eater. <laughs> and <laughs> she had to she had to tell me how many faces were on a banana. So if you don't know, then there's some banana trivia for you. I'm going to sketch fillet all of these corners to make sure that we have smooth transitions between faces. And that's going to create a complication because we lose a lot of our initial constraints of our pentagon. So to restore those, I'm going to hit the T key and um, establish all of these arcs as tangent to the uh, circle. I can hit the E key and set all of my line segments to be equal to each other. I think they've actually, I think these are He's kept the equal relation anyway, so that might have been kind of a moot step now that I see what's going on. So I'm going to grab these arcs now. All of my sketch fillets. E. And that's that's kind of a good rule to abide by. Shift R for radius on these guys. When you're doing a loft that you need curvature, rely a lot more on sketch fillets than on feature fillets. Uh, let's give that uh, 0.125 maybe. Um, sketch fillets are a lot more likely to go through without error, especially in FreeCAD from my personal experience. Um, let's see, I have one degree of freedom here. I guess I have to give that a dimension, so we're going to say 1.05. Uh, we'll close that. Now, hide that with the space bar. Let's make a banana. So if you're watching this, Mom, thanks for telling me about the number of sides on a banana. That's been helpful for this video. I'm going to choose this object. To s Actually, we chose our datum plane, and we don't want that. So I'm going to choose this. And then my sweep, we're going to choose this path to sweep along. doesn't look much like a banana yet. Let's set a multi-section transform. We're going to add here. 
<laughs> it looks more like a horn, so if you needed a horn tutorial and happen to watch this, then, you know, stop here. We're going to add a section here, and that is looking banana-like. Uh, yeah. I'm going to make their cross-section a little bit bigger. All right, so we're going to go to our multi-transform sketch here. Let's try 1.5. That's kind of a fat banana. That like, looks like one of those you know, smaller bananas that you can get. <laughs> Alright, so I'm kind of fine-tuning this banana. Oops, but I'm trying to hit sketch 3. There we go. And I'm going to go with 1.25. And then here, let's go with 0.5 for the radius values. And that's still huge because, of course, I changed my sketch. So now, I guess 0 0.75. There, I think that looks quite banana-like. Next, I think we'll want to add a stem. And I'm just going to do that as a completely separate feature. Let's go into a wireframe. And if I go into my model, Perhaps I can show my sweet path with the space bar. I'll import the arc. Let's go with a tangent here. And maybe something like half an inch vertical. And it'd be better to say shift D uh, because that gives you your straight line length, right? So maybe 0.5 there is a better dimension to use. And then I can choose a B-spline. You know, these end stem things on a banana, whatever they are, are quite organic. And so it would probably be best to represent that with a B-spline. I'm not going to worry about a full constraint. But we want it to come in just slightly over our edge here and maybe kind of balloon out a slight bit here. Yeah, that looks kind of like a banana stem, I think. So let's get out of this sketch and with nothing highlighted, get back onto my XY plane. Create another sketch. We're going to import this edge as a reference. So I'm going to draw another line over my imported geometry. Get out of that. And now we're ready to do, say, a revolution. I'll just go up here, Revolution, and if I choose Select a Reference and bring my banana back into view because it looks like it came out of view there. Select this line, I can go back to As Is, and we've got kind of a nice stem thing there. Uh, maybe I can help smooth this out even more. I'll select an edge fill it, right? And we're kind of smoothly going into this edge. There we go. Wow. Um, that looks kind of funky, but when we actually go to shaded where everything is tangent, that looks pretty slick. I like that larger fillet there. Uh, over here, bananas on the other side seem to just kind of gradually taper into almost like a flat from what I've seen. So let's go back to as is. I can hide that with my spacebar so I fill at the edge and not the sketch and oh wait I'm in inches aren't I for a second I snapped back into millimeters 0 0.05, 0 0.075, 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 that looks quite like a banana-ish thing so I think we have a banana there Again, a banana fit for Donkey Kong. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.